Okay. Hi everyone, it's Commander Savannah, so I'm back with Fallout 4. This is now part 8. I almost said Monster Hunter World because that's literally all I've been playing. I have not uploaded in a couple weeks. I'm so sorry. I've been busy with work and family matters. It's just always crazy. But I'm back and I do want to play those spooky games, but quotation on that. I'm a chicken, so the slightest scary thing is spooky to me. Uh, I'm going to push those off. I really just thought it was best I pick back up on Fallout 4 as I have not played it in forever and I want to get to about maybe part between like 25 to 30 and I may stop there um, and then just do other games. I just do want to put in, I just want to come back to this and I've been creating Fallout and I want to do a New Vegas playthrough too, so I should really make more progress with the fourth one before we jump to another Fallout, which you can do whatever. I mean, I just am very type A plus, and I've already kind of bounced around the place, but yeah. So, last we left off, we had Preston with us, we met Piper, and now we are in Diamond City. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Head on inside. Preston's just chilling over there. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Wait, Sometime. right? So, Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing, and sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So, I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. And I don't want to reload, but the whole purpose of this is just to kind of go through and whatever happens, happens. I just didn't do the talk. charisma attack. Oh, okay, okay. Tarnish my tough cop persona. Oh, you don't look tough at all, sweetie. <laughs> You're kind of cute. Got a question? She talked to Sullivan. Okay. I want to talk to Valentine. I love that rifle. Oh, we leveled up. I have to allocate a skill point. And I know exactly what we're going to put it towards. Mayor McDonough has always been against the men and men. I never quite understood why. I don't know, Preston, why? Hold on. Hold that thought. We are going to... Boom, bada bing. Yay, Diamond City! The bird is derping. Here's Piper. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Her poor sister, goodness. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's missing? Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. <laughs> I mean, I believe you. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. I believe her because I want to pause so they don't keep walking. Even if it wasn't the Institute, I believe, even in current times, I'm struggling to speak. And in a world like this, I could easily see people getting snatched. It's unfortunate. It's just realistic. 
If it's not the Institute, it's gonna be somebody else. I don't know. Is that a real bald suit? Damn. Yes. Yes, it is. I have one in real life, too. <laughs> Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, oh, wow. and I know Good human time. hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. To talk to if you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Well, hello Looking there. For a haircut. The Another one of the, the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? I don't beg. I don't beg, you stuck-up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Who are you? Who are you, anyway? Anne Codman. Of the Codman family? Of the upper stands? If you haven't heard of us, that just shows how unimportant you are. Now, were you leaving or not? Your haircut looks stupid. I miss basking in your delightful personality. Exactly. You want your life, but I'm done talking to you. <gasps> Your hair looks like ramen noodles and not the good kind. You're ridiculous. Hi. Oh look, speaking of noodles! <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Preston, you're just gonna sit There's everywhere. There's a bar in the old theater district that's paraders only. A combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Map updated? Yes. I am not ready for that yet, as I know what we are going to come across. I... Should we talk to Nick or Piper first? I'm... I feel as if the right... The right thing, in the proper way, is to talk to Piper first. However, I really want to see Nick. Well, so it is. Something bad went down in the old Museum of Lipscraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. I don't know. Oh wait, no, I do know. I don't want to go. Do all you want to wear such funny clothes? Who are you? Hi there. You shoot people, lady. My dad says outside to shoot people. Your dad's right. Hmm. It's. I'm sure I can talk. Is that a pit boy? Give my left arm for one of those. Who? What? I want to be. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. What? Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. I want to be left alone. Who? I I didn't even who. Oh my gosh! It's like oblivion. It, dear God, I <laughs> I'm just trying to navigate. I'm being stubborn. I should. I never mind. I'm a goofball. I hear you've been asking questions around town. What? Diamond City's got two private dicks now. I want to meet the first one. Thank you very much. Diamond City Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Oh, Nick! I'm so excited! Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Oh, dang it! His ties. Oh, Nick. Are you in love? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. It's important. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Um, do you have any clues? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Skinny Malone? Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. Good neighbor? You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? 
Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. Respect. Uh, I love Nick. I don't want the money. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Okay. I am all about saving Nick. I'm used to, I usually invest a bit more with charisma and just make sure I usually always pass persuasion checks. However, this playthrough, I don't know, I'll be, I don't know. We're just kind of doing it as we go. So, it's going to be weird for me. I'm not used to not succeeding in those. Do we know this guy? Hey, I know you. You're that Minuteman, Gavi. I really look up to you guys. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. Glad to hear it. You guys are great. Here, take this. I hope you can find a use for it. Need something? I... What? Who are you? <clears throat> What's with you vault dwellers in those jumpsuits? I'm a part of the Minutemen! What? I am baffled and insulted and confused. You're also just in my way. Sir. Sir. Sir! Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh goodness. Y'all, what was that? <laughs> Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear oh, I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a simp! He'll kill us all! <clears throat> Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no simps in Diamond City. No Hear point me? in leaving that for the scavengers. Just you folks and your damn paranoia. He's, he's not, he's not gonna need it. Ahem! Hey, what happened? Hey. You pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. I need you to step away, Scabber. What happened? I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's oh everyone God. still standing around for? God. Go back to your own damn business. I mean, just shot a dude's head off. I. I <laughs> Move along. All right. Hey, you're eating noodles. <clears throat> Do you think that guy was a simp? What the hell just happened? Excuse me. I'm done working for the day. Get oh, lost. Thank the wall, that's over. Okay. You people are rude. Every single one of you. Are you the doc? Hello, doctor. Hey, doc. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. What are the treatment options? So what kind of treatments are common around? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Um, I guess... Cure me. Patch me up, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Ah! Uh... Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. All right. Let's flush your system. Now, 
Was there anything else bothering you? That's it. No other complaints. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay? My radiation wasn't that bad. I just, I don't know, I kind of wanted to... So is it just... Dependent on mon upon the amount of radiation you have? I mean, if we had, like, half of our health as radiation, would it be more? Or is the standard just 40? That doesn't seem right. Anyway. Let's see what we're working with here. I guess before we go and get Nick, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Piper. So we need to do that. I'll I'll do that in my free time just because it's settlement stuff. Miscellaneous. Okay. Let's talk to Piper before we go. Piper. Should we make our story ridiculous or just be truthful? Hi! Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What's involved? What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Okay. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a <clears throat> vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? <laughs> we were frozen. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Mm-hmm. The war? Yeah, the one where we just got, like, nuked. The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. And we look great. Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth. Diamond City, how does it compare to your old life? Um. <sighs> Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I mean, they could be. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? <laughs> people ignore kidnappings? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Blue, you haven't noticed? I'm you naive. In the Commonwealth and eventually someone is gonna get taken. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks, or super mutants, or feral ghouls. They just give up. So I want my readers to hear what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now what would you like to say? Realistically, if this is me, I, it's... I mean... I would have to... It's in between... Honestly, it's a combination. I would be angry and I don't want to lose my hope but at the same time you really got to do it a day at a time 
Um, I'm typically more positive no comment so i'm gonna tell them not to lose hope no matter how much you want to give up don't you have to have hope that that you'll see them again or at least that you'll know the truth a strong note to end on blue thanks that's everything it's gonna take some time to put this all together but i think your story is gonna give diamond city plenty to talk about anyway i agreed to come with you right Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Do you have a minute? Um, yes. Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thank you. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place fall apart if things were so great back then how did it all fall apart so fast I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to you know the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it keep everyone more or less on the same team but after he was killed it all came out in the open I couldn't believe it at first these guys were supposed to be Minutemen they were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always <laughs> thought they were. The good guys. Why are you telling me all of this? Why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. You're welcome. Anytime, Preston. Thanks. We'd probably better get back to it. Hey. Point it out. Anything I can do? Hold up a sec. You just say hey. the word. How are you feeling about things? Dang back it. before General Becker died? The Minutemen were a force to be reckoned with. Um... What do you think about our relationship? You probably think you're doing your best. But I know that you can do better. Okay. You can go now. You know where to find me if you need me. Piper! You may be constantly trying to kill us, but... The Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. All right, so I got, we will go ahead, actually. It's Nat's bed. I wonder if we can, uh, ooh. Hey, Nat. You won't believe what's in the next issue, just you wait. But I. I did the interview for the next issue. Well, what do you mean? How could anyone know better than I? Well, aside from Piper and what she might edit. Okay, I was hoping... Hi, I'm back. That, I kept going, so we're gonna go to the complaints. Honor the wall. And your most recent addition, your paper failed to acknowledge in any way the contribution of the Mighty Wall in the defense of our town against last month's super mutant attacks. I find this extremely offensive and will not be purchasing another copy until such disrespect is publicly corrected. We honor the efforts of all those involved in the defense of our great city, from our valiant guards to the Mighty Wall. Dear Whack Job, Two members of Diamond City Security died defending this town. Where was your hunk of plywood for them? All right. Happy story. 
I find choice of topics sad. How about happy story? Maybe something about nice bar? Thank you for your feedback. Our stories are selected for relevance and importance to the Diamond City populace. Madam, no story about your bar is going to end happily. <laughs> okay, and for shame. That's my birthday! Your paper is just trying to drum up fears about cents to increase sales. You should be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your concern. Our paper makes significant efforts to ensure all our stories are accurate and free from editorializing. Thank you for your concern. I hope you get snatched. Um, I had to do a cutback because I had to fuss with the Huskies. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. And I'm going to finish reading on this. And then we are going to make our way towards Nick Valentine. So I do want to go ahead and at least rescue him today. And then I got to hop off, work out, clean my room, and watch Cowboy Beep Up. So um, until the next part, I hope you guys are having a great day, night, evening, what have you. And I will see you next time. Bye.